This review is for WavePad Masters Edition, which is the licensed version. There is a free version. It is available for Windows and Mac. This is a Mac version, but it's pretty much the same on all platforms. This is the main interface. You have a ribbon-like toolbar, like you find in a lot of Windows programs up here. Uh, under Home, you have New File, Open File, Save, all those sort of basic things you'd expect, including Delete the Whole File, a Bookmark option, Batch Converting Options, Preferences. Let's have a look at Preferences. This is quite standard Preferences here. Audio, where you select where you want the output when you play a file to go, what sort of speakers or whatever. Recording is where you select what your microphone is that you want to use, in this case a USB microphone called Blue Snowball. You can select input if there's more than one for whatever reason. The volume, at the moment I have it selected at the default of zero decibels. And there's some other options here including a button to get to the website with recommended hardware. If you want to record streaming audio from like internet radio you get a separate program which is called SoundTap. Appearance, you can use a classic theme or just various things here yourself. Playback has a few other options and set up uh, macros and assign keys from there. There's also a link to a website for recommended professional multimedia controllers. Down here is an info box which lists the position where you are in the file, file length all together, the sample rate in this case 44100 which is CD quality, 48000 would be uh, DVD and Blu-ray quality. You can select how many channel channels, one mono or two stereo and if you have any selected details about the selection now. You have your standard controls here such as play, record, stop, rewind, those sort of things there. This is just a button for some of their other software. Edit, a lot of the basic options here such as undo, cut, copy, paste, delete, split, so you could go say here and split at the cursor, split at silences, split file into multiple channels. So you could do say that. Let's just undo that a minute. You can join and duplicate here, copy to new, mix with file, repeat loop, insert a sil some silence, and there's various options for it here including trim silences. There's more trim here, region sort of tools here such as add a new region, bookmarks here, samples, you have to zoom in a bit more, let's see if I can... And if you have it installed, you then have MixPad. The, the reason you have that button is because this isn't really a multi-track editor. So, for example, if you wanted to record new audio here and squeeze it in, when you hit record, what it would do is it would overlap and record over the area instead of like in actually insert in it so what you do is you use an option called paste mix what that does is you record or open a separate file you select all of that file and copy it you then hit go to where you want to insert it and do a paste mix instead a bit of a roundabout way of doing it so mixpad is another software you might want to take a look at which is a multi-track editor Effects, you have a lot of the normal ones you'd expect to find, which is good, such as Amplify, norm Normalize, Compress, Equalizer. Uh, some other ones including special effects, such as Echo, Reverb, and AM Radio, Telephone, quite a few there. Reverse, some fade tools, such as Fade In, Fade Out, or Fade Out, and Trim, and Crossfades. Just the speed here, you can use cleanup options. So unlike some programs that you even pay for, such as Twisted Wave on Mac and uh, Sound Studio, this actually does have noise reduction features. There's also 
click and pop removal auto or manual there's automatic gain controls high pass low pass filter here and DC offset correction let's have a look at noise reduction while we're here now we brought up the first of the options which is auto spectral noise reduction you can put in a percentage for silence to auto pr proportion or and or select a preset so let's select apply to voice as this has got no music it's all voice that we want to apply the correction to that's reduce noise as you can see the uh, waveform has changed now whoops now let's have a look at click auto it is now removing clicks and pops I don't f think there's really many if any clicks and pops in the audio I recorded here so you may not see a big change in the waveform okay actually there was a slight change in the waveform actually which I didn't expect I would play back this audio so you could hear the difference before and after the trouble is my screen capture program is meant to record system audio as well as microphone audio and it used to do it fine all of a sudden it will record microphone audio as you can hear right now but it's not recording system audio such as from these audio editors such as WavePad. I'm not sure why and I can't get it working right now which is a bit of a pity but uh, you can get the idea from looking at the waveform anyway by the way this waveform uh, this bit of audio here was actually recorded directly into WavePad from the record option in WavePad using the microphone. So this was recorded with the program. Another noise reduction feature I want to show you is grab. So like in Audacity, you can grab a sample of noise from an area that is just noise, grab it, select all the area you want to use noise reduction in, and go to apply there we go you can see a huge change also that makes me uh, think of another feature that I wish this had which is plugins such as audio units and VST plugins so you could use other uh, third-party programs and plugins such as Acon Digital's restoration suite with this program so you would have more effects options you then have automatic gain gain control here and your various like low pass filters you bring up bring up and there's various uh, options here for presets which is good because I've seen some other programs which do have an option to save and load presets but they don't come with any uh, presets themselves already rigged up you just have to create your own if you want to so there's things like human voice intelligible here which will help clean it up and that for uh, voice such as if this was a podcast you're recording There is also a noise gate here as well, which has a threshold you can set of like at the moment it's set by default at minus 30 decibels. You can do a hold of uh, milliseconds here, release milliseconds, attack, and you play it back here and you know apply it or cancel it. There's voice options here, which is reduce vocals. If there's some vocals in there you don't want, you can try to reduce them. There's voice change. You basically change your pitch and things like that to try to make it sound like it's somebody else or give, give it just a weird effect you can also try their voice changer for live voice changing you can do the speed and pitch there as well just speed just pitch or apply a telephone effect or an AM radio effect then you have effect chain basically this is quite a nice handy little feature I quite like this what it does is if say you record a podcast and you always apply a certain effects with certain settings and you have say like I don't know four different effects you always apply in a certain order you can say go here add effect okay we do it at half volume all the time then we always say uh, apply a compressor 
and we always do general voice level and we always apply mm, let's see let's say we always apply a low pass filter for some reason I'm not sure what's grayed out maybe it doesn't have any I can't remember anyway you can then do that and you also have ready-made presets here which is handy such as a CB radio a teenager AM radio all sorts of ones here to add a pre uh, preset or you can go down here and save it as your own preset or load your preset apply a preset there or play with the effects to hear what it sounds like so that is very handy for some reason I don't see all not all the effects are listed here because I would like to see noise removal here so you could add noise removal as one of the things it always does in this preset so I would like uh, more of the tools to be listed here let's close up for now we can then go to tools there are various tools here including a peak finder, a batch converter, a sound library. Let's just show you that in a minute. Sound library is some sound effects such as explosions here. You can add a firework explosion and drag it to your say your podcast and use it. There's also um, some music here such as blues, classic, dance, rock and world. There are also various effects such as alerts as well. There is telephone effects there, tools, toys, and all sorts. Basically, it's a little effect library, but also with a few bits of music in there as you can use as well. There's a tone generator, text-to-speech even, and even, which is really uh, good and all of these programs have, there is actually a surround sound editor, and you can edit both 5.1 and 7.1 surround, surround sound. This is a bit beyond this review to really show you it in depth here, but there it is. And so if you want to do surround sound, you can with this, which is great. There's also Suite, which is basically some of the other programs you can install, such as SoundTap I mentioned earlier and MixPad, as well as a burn-in tool. You then have Custom, and you can hit Customize, and customize this ribbon here with your own tools as shortcuts tools that you use a lot that maybe aren't on one of the tabs already you can add it there as a shortcut because you use it a lot you have a tools menu here which is another way to get to a lot of the features I've already mentioned such as uh, the text to speech there is also automatic beat detection under that there's your bookmarks to set a bookmark your windows normal as you'd expect there's controls to speed up play slow speed loop things like that there effects you can get to all your effects here including noise reduction and stereo pan and your fades and cross fades and your noise change in here and including special effects under that menu such as phaser and multiple chained effects like i say i wish some more of these such as the fades and the noise reduction and the voice things were in the effects chain so you could apply it all in one go view is like you'd expect zoom to selection and zoom to selection and vertical zoom in zoom in zoom default vertical zoom frequency view all sorts of things there edit has a lot of the normal tools such as cut copy paste delete select or select none as well as a few others such as mix with file insert file uh, insert silence and trim, split file, batch join, convert the sample rate to, or convert the channels to mono from stereo, etc. Edit audio tags, sample editing mode, mark first position, etc. You go to file, launch some of their third party, not third party, but some of their other programs such as Mixpad from there, which are multi track uh, audio editor, sound tab, which is for streaming audio recording. Zulu, which is a virtual DJ software, Express Burn for burn into a disk, and Switch Audio File Converter. You can send the file from here, you can upload it to a cloud server such as Dropbox, SoundCloud, or Google Drive. You can download from the sound library here, which I've already shown you. Download file from a service. If you've already got one on, say Dropbox, you can download it and edit it. 
And at the time of making this, this is the latest version, 6.03 on Mac, Master's Edition, Intel. Now this is actually uh, reminded me of something else I would like to bring up. If I haven't tried it yet, but if I remember rightly, I believe the Windows version has this bar up here, the ribbon bar, and the wave bar all in integrated into one big window. For some reason they've done it differently on Mac and I don't personally like it. They float various separate windows so let me show you. This ribbon bar is a separate floating window. Then the area, your main workspace where you record your waveform etc is another floating window separate. Uh, these here you don't I don't really mind floating even though they do float as well I don't mind that because I don't think they really could integrate it too well maybe it's uh, that might actually be more convenient having these couple float but I think the tab bar up here should be integrated with a workspace window so what do I actually think of it I think it is a very good program because it is available on Windows and Mac in case you need to go back and forth between the two platforms for your work or whatever. And also it is full of features. Like I say, it has noise removal, which some other pay for programs actually for some reason don't. As well as effects chain, surround sound editing. It Basically, you name it, it seems to have it. So thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful. There is a trial version available, so I recommend you at least go to the website and download the trial and give it a shot. Please like and share this video, and if you could do me a huge favor and subscribe, as it only takes a few seconds and helps me out a lot. Thanks.